Hello everybody, my name is Eric Burgett. I'm a learning experience designer. And in this short video, I wanna jump into a tool I've just recently started to get into called Beyond. Um, now, I'm probably late to the party on this tool. Um, I might even be pronouncing it wrong. Beyond, Beyond, Beyond. I have found that there's ways to customize these animations, um, particularly the, the background, in a way that I think really has a big impact on, on the end results of the e-learning the e that we're designing. So let's jump in. Uh, first of all, even though this isn't a review video, I, I would like to say that I am uh, very impressed with the the just how intuitive the user experience is for the program. Um, the the learning curve is pretty small to just get up and running and make something cool. Um, I would say it's it's less than an hour where you kind of get your bearings on what's what, use the template, figure out the animations, and export to an MP4 video, and and you're you're kind of making something cool pretty quick. And and there's not a lot of tools like that out there, so. Uh, nice work. I, I think I think it's really impressive. Um, a problem that I did run into right away was that, that the settings or the the backgrounds of the library of templates that they have available just felt off from what I was trying to do. Uh, they were well designed in and of themselves, but as far as what I was trying to communicate or the setting I was hoping to create, just was not connected in a way that was helpful. Um, so let me give you an example just to, to show you what I mean. So this course is about basic legal principles. This particular module is about regulations or the difference between statutes and regulations. Jumping to this particular slide example, um, the, you know, the, the module talks about statutes and then, and then it tries to describe like, well, what's the difference between a statute and a regulation? And then the, the line says, um, and here we are, another way to think about it, statutes are like a mafia boss and regulations are the enforcer. So enter Viand. So here's my mafia boss analogy animation. Um, right now I found a character um, that I thought looked somewhat mafia-like, um, you know, do the best we can here. And, uh, you know, working, of course, on stereotypes as much as possible, as we do. Um, and here's the extent of the animation. There's like a preset for holding one's arms. So that's what I did. And now I just need to add a background. And as I was looking at backgrounds, I thought, well, where would a mafia boss be? Um, and, you know, of course, if I remove the search term here, you can see you can search search by location and they have a lot of locations. But when it comes to something, if you want something specific or you have a specific idea in mind. Um, so in this case, yeah, we want something a city, but maybe something a little bit more mafia like gritty. I don't know. How would you describe it? Um, you know, when you search for cities, there's a few options, but a lot of them are more of this kind of distant city skyscraper variety. I think the one closest was this factory. Um, it kind of made me think like, oh, you know, down by the docks or something. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought maybe that's an option, but it's pretty distant. Um, so I think what I did was found this little this little illustration of a city and it had a little mafia car in it and I, and I think I maybe searched for mafia city or something in Shutterstock and um, so when I when I drop this to the background I think it just gets a lot more close to um, to where our character would like to be and so I can kind of move him around as needed, hit preview. And in, I think at this point, then it starts to look like it belongs. Like this is, this is a nice match between the foreground and the background, but it's more interesting than some of the existing template uh, library that's there. Um, 
So I took that export to Storyline or export to an MP4, and then you can just drop that right into Storyline. And um, and then to finish off the analogy, I, I think I, I placed a PNG of two enforcer characters right in front. So you'll see I've got my character arms folded and then regulations are like the enforcers. And I just dropped in a PNG of this, these other characters I found on Shutterstock. Okay, so that was just one example. Let's take a look at another situation where you might find it helpful to drop in a background image in your Vion video. So here's another example where I took a basic six second animation of a, a character talking and dropped in a, a foreground of a desk and a, a really blurred out image background. And really the intention was to, to have more of a focal point on that, um, on that character. So let me show you what that ended up looking like. Uh, we dropped that video into Storyline in this scenario interaction. And in this scenario, the accountant is asking their client a question to fill in their notebook. They ask a question. And then there's this little three second, four second animation as the, as the scenario character responds. So it just, it just breathes a little bit of extra life into those scenarios. All right, so hopefully you're starting to come up with some ideas of how you could use this in different ways. You know, maybe you take a screenshot of the menu of a course and have this Vian character kind of, you know, pointing and, and describing what to expect in the course, something fun like that. Maybe, maybe you take a picture of your, your office. So like in my case, let me take a picture of my, my home office here. And then all of a sudden that's the background for my little video. So I guess what I'm saying is, don't be afraid to be creative in the way that you're using those VM videos. Um, find an image that, that just kind of makes it a little bit more fun uh, in the foreground and background of those videos. So that's it for this take five video. Well over five minutes on this one, but hopefully you found it helpful to jump into some specific examples and, and look at like what you can do with these with these Vyond animations with just a little bit of little bit of custom image work. So, all right, that's it. Take it easy and we'll see you next time.